Be me earlier. I don't take a shower in a week. Been busy with video and job. Finally Friday. The wage slaving stops for a little while. I can finally relax. Take a nice long hot shower with my bathroom window open so the cold can mix in and it's like a fucking sauna. Put on sweatpants and underwear a size too big. Long t-shirt. I am comfy as can be. I am so comfy it should be a crime. Anyone else with this feel? I don't know, I've never been to a sauna, I don't even know what it feels like. What about you guys, have you been to a sauna? Go on r slash schizophrenia, pick up a post that talks about suffering delusions, PM something related to them like, watch out for the red cars this week, that's what they're gonna be using this time, for gang stalking related delusions, watch them slowly break down because of my influence. Ah yes, the least evil 4chan user. Hangover, so I wanna talk about this. Be me, 2008 ish, high with the guys. Munchies hits. Del Taco is a mile away, we carpool. I order like 7 different burritos. It like it's the last supper. On the way out, I'm kinda craving ice cream and something catches my eye. It's the orange shake. It looks light, so I order one. Needless to say, I get addicted. It's not like the best shake ever or anything, but it's fucking addicting. A couple years pass and it leaves the menu for some reason. I cope with the fact I might not have another orange shake. I quit going to Dell. Fast forward to this week. Check Twitter. Friends send me a Dell Taco tweet. It's an announcement for December 22nd. They're fucking bringing it back. Some horde of Twitter users actually fucking did it. I'm not exaggerating when I say I'm about to use my full bank account ordering these fucking shakes. I might die but it'll be worth it. Thank you Del Taco. Can a simple shake truly be this good? Like to get addicted to? I mean sure I don't. That wouldn't even be in the top 100 weirdest things a 4chan user has done. Or top 1000 for that matter. Notice that I have a strong dislike for most minorities. Worried that I might be racist. Decide to test if I really am. Go out for a couple of drinks with a friend of a colleague. He's black. Pretty good guy actually. Turns out I just hate poor people. Phew! Good thing I'm not racist. Um, please. Walks into gym. See penis inspection day sign. Turn around. The door is already sealed. Oh no, the anon's gonna have his penis inspected, what is he gonna do? You know, I always wonder where all this Halloween imagery originated from, you know, like the skeletons. I wonder who came up with skeletons and associated them with Halloween since they're super creepy looking and... Uh, Joe, the skeleton is in our bone structure. What do you mean? Well, uh, the human skeleton is what makes up our physical structure alongside our muscles and Joe's eyes bulge out of his skull as he leans in, clutching his microphone. No fucking way, dude! Holy shit! Historian is looking visibly confused as Joe rocks back and forth in his chair. Jamie, pull up a skeleton and an adult human side by side. Oh shit, I can totally see it. Look at like the arms and the legs and everything. I bet that's why chimps are so much stronger since we evolved to have one of these whereas they just have muscle. Be me, FBI raids my house. Gotcha, bitch, dot JPEG. Steal my computer. Find file marked bomb plot. Dozens of files inside. Open vid file marked loadout. Blue Lobster playing classical music at 140 decibels. Clutches ears in pain. This goes on until a file marked bomb. Picture of a pipe bomb and a recipe. Take me to court with only this. Opening court. File has mutated into a vid of Tyler the Creator screaming PSYCH! Blue Lobster ear rapes court. Autistic mwahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahah